I am the very merry and musical Meredith Olson, and I love teaching music. I would not be who I am today without music. If you asked me when I was six years old what I wanted to be when I grew up, I would have answered music teacher. I always knew that music would be a part of my life and it defines totally who I am. In my class, you're gonna dance, you're gonna sing, you're gonna get moving because that's how we make memories. When we move and we share ideas, we collaborate, it creates an amazing educational environment. From the moment you walk into my music classroom, we're singing, we're moving, we're sharing, and we're making music together. When I came to Elmwood Elementary, one of the questions the admin asked me is, are you confident building a general music program? Right now we have no instruments, there's no curriculum, nothing. Are you confident that you can build it? You can be our guiding light. And at first, oh yeah, my heart raced, but then I said, yeah, let's do this. And so we worked together and I advocated for every instrument I could possibly get. We started sharing instruments between buildings in the district because other buildings had more than ours and we figured out a way to share, to get instruments into the hands of kids who had never seen a ukulele before, who had never even played a drum or even a maraca. And so that was a huge challenge for me to overcome, but it really, it inspired me as a music educator to see kids walk into my classroom and just go, you mean we get to play those? We get to touch those like that's a xylophone? They had never seen that before. And so while it was a challenge, I was so excited and so proud to be a part of that change in the music program because building it has been one of the greatest joys in my life. I like to tell people, like I don't have any kids, but at the same time I have 517 kids <laughs> because as the elementary music teacher, I see everyone in the building. And I think that that is the most incredible challenge and gift at the same time. Uh, this past year, it was my first year at my school district, um, and there was this kid who was incredibly shy, wouldn't talk in class, always wanted to stand off to the side, not to partner any group activities, during performances. He was really scared he was gonna throw up. And so he sang our entire music program from the side of the stage off to the, behind the curtain, like not even on the stage. He like was full on in the wings. And during the pandemic, he was kind of one of those kids too that didn't have his camera on, never unmuted, but we would talk. He would respond in the chat and we bonded over his bearded dragon and just talking about video games and I could see him gaining confidence. And when we came back to school, he was a completely different person because he was able to build that relationship with me. And that is by far one of my proudest moments is seeing what a difference I, I thought I made in his life and his music journey from last year to being that kid in the wings, terrified to do anything in music, to now he's a kid volunteering. He has sung by himself. I can't get him to stop talking. He's so excited. And that is just what it's all about. Year after year, getting to build the relationships that I get with kids, that's amazing. Like what other teacher gets that? Every year you normally get a whole new bunch of kids and it's like I get to see them year after year building that relationship and that's just oh, makes my heart sing.